Saturday, July 20, 2024. First reading. Micah 2 verses 1 to 5. Woe to those who plan iniquity and work out evil on their couches. In the morning light they accomplish it. When it lies within their power, they covet fields and seize them. Houses, and they take them. They cheat an owner of his house. A man of his inheritance. Therefore thus says the Lord. Behold, I am planning against this race an evil. From which you shall not withdraw your necks. Nor shall you walk with head high. For it will be a time of evil. On that day a satire shall be sung over you. And there shall be a plaintive chant. Our ruin is complete. Our fields are portioned out among our captors. The fields of my people are measured out. And no one can get them back. Thus you shall have no one. To mark out boundaries by lot. In the assembly of the Lord. The Word of God. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Do not forget the poor, O Lord. Do not forget the poor, O Lord. Why, O Lord, do you stand aloof? Why hide in times of distress? Proudly the wicked harass the afflicted. Who are caught in the devices the wicked have contrived. Do not forget the poor, O Lord. For the wicked man glories in his greed. And the covetous blasphemes, sets the Lord at naught. The wicked man boasts, he will not avenge it. There is no God, sums up his thoughts. Do not forget the poor, O Lord. His mouth is full of cursing, guile and deceit. Under his tongue are mischief and iniquity. He lurks in ambush near the villages. In hiding he murders the innocent. His eyes spy upon the unfortunate. Do not forget the poor, O Lord. You do see, for you behold misery and sorrow. Taking them in your hands. On you the unfortunate man depends. Of the fatherless you are the helper. Do not forget the poor, O Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ. And entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel. According to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The Pharisees went out and took counsel against Jesus. To put him to death. When Jesus realized this, he withdrew from that place. Many people followed him, and he cured them all. But he warned them not to make him known. This was to fulfill what had been spoken through Isaiah the prophet. Behold, my servant whom I have chosen. My beloved in whom I delight. I shall place my spirit upon him. And he will proclaim justice to the Gentiles. He will not contend or cry out. Nor will anyone hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break. A smoldering wick he will not quench. Until he brings justice to victory. And in his name the Gentiles will hope. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you Lord Jesus Christ.